Hello, I wanted to quickly check in um, after what happened yesterday. Yesterday, I posted that my gardens were looking so great. I had been harvesting the last peas, super, super happy. We were, um, I posted actually that I saw my beans growing because it was such a nice warm day. So little I knew about what Yes, okay, sorry, little hiccup in the connection. I was posting yesterday positively about my garden. I was so happy. Little did I know about what was happening after uh, yesterday or what was going to happen yesterday late afternoon. We had the totally most severe hailstorm um, you can imagine. You can see the terrace behind me. The hail was actually howling like horizontally over my terrace, uh, wrecking, literally wrecking my garden. We had a little private swimming pool on the terrace because it was raining and hailing so severely that the water actually didn't flush away immediately. We had about like 10 centimeters of water standing on our terrace. And I didn't dare really looking yesterday night going outdoors. So I thought I'm going to take you with me on a little inspection tour of my garden. I can tell you, I can already tell you, it looks horrible. It looks horrible. <laughs> so let's have a look. Let me turn around the camera so that you can look with me. Wow, that is how it looks. My carrots, my beetroots, my cucumber. Well, this one, I don't think it's gonna, maybe this one might survive. My, my zucchini, I'm not really sure. My kohlrabi. It looks wrecked. Um, my tomato. Just a few leaves left. They are relatively sturdy. So maybe, maybe, maybe. My beans, it's a lot of leaf damage. But that might actually also turn out not too bad. Then, well, that was my chart. It's kind of like... Um, it's cut and shredded already. Kind of like ready to go in the pot in the kitchen or something like that. Not really how I like to see it. But that was a mini, a mini bush tomato. Well, don't think that's going to be. This one looks to be a little bit more protected, maybe by the chart. So that is actually maybe going to survive. Well, those are my peas that I posted yesterday. I saw them growing yesterday. They were too small, obviously, to get wrecked. So that is a good thing. <laughs> then my broccoli. Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe. Another zucchini. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll leave it to it and see what happens. Well, that one definitely is not going to survive. Look what hail does to your garden. It is incredible. Tom my potatoes, they were actually like that high. They're just, they're just snapped. Half of them is on the ground next to the garden. Well, only one of my melons survived. That's a pity. Again ready to use in the kitchen already cut and shredded for me <laughs> it's amazing it's really horrible it's sad to see but hey that's what nature does the patisson well i was hoping actually to give eva a lot of patisson this summer to use in the pop-up in some nice french recipes but i'm not really sure whether she's gonna get anything again basil oh horrible well, ready to go into the salad. My peppers. My bell peppers. Oh, my gosh. Marigold. No leaves. No flowers left. No flowers left. And then my other sweet peppers. Well, that one is not going to survive for sure. Maybe, maybe the other two. And then I have a gooseberry bush. Well, you can see most gooseberries are on the terrace now, actually. So that's not going to be a big harvest.